Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we are back with another review. Today, we're taking a look at, from the Transformers um, Creo line, Microchange Creon Viacon. This is from one of the more recent waves, I want to say Wave 3. I get a little confused by the numbering, because apparently the wave with Galvatron and Waspinator was an unnumbered preview wave, and that just throws me off. As I suspected from um, seeing preview images, the Viacon uses the Wind Charger build that was with the Mech Venom Strike kit, which I did review. Um, so I am happy to see it used again. In fact, I do believe this gets used a lot in the line in this wave. Um, yes, it's got used for Viacon, RC, and um, I think maybe even Hoist as well, but with a little extra parts to make them look like a truck. And here is the Viacon in his car mode. Like I mentioned earlier, this uses the build that was um, used by Wind Charger in the Mech Venom set. I do hope I got that uh, set name correct. Um, the only real difference was the blaster he comes with. Also, unfortunately, there are no um, stickers. Um, but then again, this look is very true to the Viacom. One thing I did think they changed was instead of having the toes pointing down, they have it pointing up, which does allow you to um, almost lock that rear in and give you an even position um, for the rear of the car. It's a shame the wheels don't roll because this is a very nice looking car mode. Um, other than that, I do notice that when it comes to this clear windshield piece, it was pegged in a little tighter, so I did have a little bit of trouble pulling it off, which you do have to do. This is one of those uh, sets that you have to disassemble everything. No quick conversion like uh, Dirge was from the previous wave. Um, or I do believe, yes, uh, Thrust? No, Thrust will be in the upcoming wave. And, you know, they fool me. What do you want? But yeah, I'm sure if you are a Viacon aficionado, you already have one of these. You probably have like a dozen of these. Um, they are fun. It is a cool build. I wish it used all the parts in both modes, because you do end up with an excess of parts, but that's just how it is. Um, if you see this at retail, I can highly recommend you picking it up. This is your old pal Chuck, for the Viacon. We'll see you next time.